Yeah, you do. Actually, you I'm good. only 23, and I've lived a terrible a life. False lie, ladies and gentlemen. A false lie. I'm Laban Johnson. I'm he Larry is Bly. the 49-year-old Larry Bly, and the witch is going to come in and tell us what to do. Oh, uh, it's, yeah. It's usually oh, right in the mm. chest or the breast. Or watch, whatever. Watch well, your mouth. It's a family show. Uh, pay attention, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carroll. I know. Well, he does. No, no, that's Mr. Mike Carroll. Get the witch out of here. Miss Carroll is I back can't in get the room. Oh, I can't get <laughs> out the, the day the witch. Get up there. Meanwhile, my oil is there. burning. I got to get that done. Oh, Dear. No, so is mine. Laban and Larry, between the two of us, we're going to set off the entire alarm system here at Blue Ridge Public. Dear Laban and Larry, our little son Lanford asked us the other day if eggs came from eggplant. Are you listening to this? Yeah. We were astounded at the query because he is in the eighth grade and we thought that he had learned this in his gym class. <laughs> Since we were clearly too embarrassed to answer such a question, we wondered if you could do it for us. Are there other uses for this important plant? Sincerely, Shane and Buffy Marie Jones of Apalachicola, Florida. Uh, Ap Apalachicola. Apalachicola, Florida. He was in radio for years. and Still well, can't read where the hoot. It's true. Anyway, well, no, you know, uh, I've got to get myself one of those Gabora wigs. you got to do something. Next time yeah. I go on TV. No, to answer their question. I said no close-ups. Anyway. <laughs> to answer their question, oh, no. Yeah. yeah, the question. The uh, the answer is no, eggs do not come from eggplant, and I don't think you would have learned it in your sex ed class in gym. In gym and I'll tell you something nevertheless. else. The chicken that lays this baby <laughs> will never be able to stop grinning. I have but to anyway. chop up a whole, I'm doing some kind of eggplant mess, sloppy eggplant. And, oh. And I've got to chop up a whole bunch of vegetables, so would you just go ahead while I'm chopping? It says here, it says, uh, one dish meal. Mine's a one dish meal sent in by S.A. Hayakawa. McGarrigal no. <laughs> of Hamilton, New Jersey. They love us in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Yes, That's a they true do. story. They do. They love us up there. This one's from New Jersey, but I, they do have right funny names. How would you pronounce it? McGarrigal? McGarrigal? McGarrigal. McGarrigal. And the entire McGarrigal family. Uh, I, my recipe goes on much too long. First thing you have to do is take an nig plant like this. And what you do is you have to slice it this way and this way. And then you also have to peel it. Now, not every eggplant recipe calls for peeling, but this one does. And once you have done that, you then have to either weight it or put some a little bit of salt on it and set it aside for about a half a day. And I don't know whether you can see that or not. You know, these are those new $80,000 cameras. They say they can pick up a pimple from outer space. <laughs> I don't know what it means. But anyway, you should be able to see that it is starting to pull all of those nasty juices out of there. Oh, now that is a, you know, it looks like the landscape of the moon from up there, doesn't it? Way to go, Mike. Oh, That's yeah. a spectacular deal. Ooh. It's gone. <laughs> so anyway, let that set for a while. Get all those nasty juices out of there. You don't want those. Yes. And I will tell you that you then have to have two pans going simultaneously uh, on this program today. You have to put yourself a little bit of uh, olive oil in a pan and start heating it real hot because when you fl fry eggplants, you have to fry them very, very fast. You know, one time, first time I ever tried eggplants, I had a friend over and I must have used a gallon and a half of oil. It just kept Soaking it up. Have you ever had that happen with yes. eggplant? If you don't get it real hot, it just keeps sap. But I'll tell you one thing: we were all regular for a month. But anyway, that's what you got to do. That's the first thing got to do. And then when that's done, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he can't remember uh, the next thing to do. Uh, I'll tell you what else to do here in a second. Let me just get my all right about me. Oh, now I'm chopping up two peppers that have got to be seeded and chopped to go in with two large onions. This does make enough stuff for Coxie's army, and it's just a little bit more than I think I would make at my house because there's nobody. Well, you know, it has been two weeks since I've done this recipe. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say this, ladies and gentlemen, but I accidentally prepared this for last week's show, and it wasn't the right one. I do have to fry some ground round hamburger with an, a big old onion and a big old uh, pepper. And that's what I'm going to do while I'm getting ready to play around. And I'm still fooling with the with green the, uh, peppers. Getting ready to play around with the, the uh, eggplants. 
So I'm just going to chop a little bit. Johnson, go right on ahead. Well, I'm chopping too. It seems like these veg more vegetable-oriented dishes take longer, and they do because you have to prepare the vegetables. And yes, uh, we could have done it earlier and made everybody real happy, but we'd like to show you that you can do it in less than most of these recipes in less than 20 minutes. You know, the press is here today, one of our local fine established newspapers, and we can't give the name of it because, you know, we are national, and yes. most of you haven't heard of it anyway. Uh, heck, most of the people in southwest Virginia, <laughs> no, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. I love them, I adore them, I think they're great. But anyway, they're here today, and you know, when I came in a while ago, Doris was already talking to the reporter, talking about how it was her show, and she came up uh -huh. with the idea for it, and that she's the big star of the program. Mm -hmm. Can't trust that woman? No, you really can't. You know what? She gets no cameo appearance on the program today. <laughs> you know, mine was sent in by Denise Adams of Philadelphia, and they it's just a prodigious amount of stuff, and you have to keep stirring it. They think we're as cracked as the bell is up there. You can do my recipe two different ways. One, you can you can do it with... Um, oh, we'd settle for just doing it right. You can bake <laughs> it in the oven. And the other way is you can uh, do it the way I'm doing now, in a pan on the top of the stove. So for you people that don't have an oven and only have a little... Uh, one hot plate, you can do it in a, with a hot plate. Well, Doris, do you think you could have gotten me a smaller pan for this recipe? <laughs> Look at this. I'll never get this done. Well, what you do is you put an onion in there, and I'm going to chop a little green pepper and put it in there, and you need to brown this. What? And, She's of course, she got, the mother, she got the mother of all peppers over here. Yeah. Not to mention the granddaughter. But the recipe did say big ones, didn't it, Doris? That's right. That's right. Mm. Anyway. Well, I'm just a chopping. Just chop, chop, chop. Just chop, chopping chop, and chop. chopping. People ask us all the time, and, and once in a while we have to come on and tell you this. People ask us all the time, why in the world do you have to do, try and stay up with me, Jim, all that chopping on TV? And you know my pat answer is because if we didn't do this, the show would last three minutes. Yes. <laughs> and then it would just all be over. That. You know, um... We got another letter from somebody that wanted to know if we were married and had children. And yes, the answer is we both have huge families with many, many children. Larry himself has three sets of twins. <laughs> My cats. Okay, that goes in there. Oh, look at this. The woman who will do anything for a Get cameo. Oh, she got, she got on. Oh, the candles came out. We laughed and they blew out. But that's too bad. Well, we, 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 this was a surprise for last <laughs> week and we forgot. Yeah, we, we had to freeze the cake. We had to freeze the recipe. We had to freeze Laban. We just thawed him out minutes ago. And still froze. <laughs> oh, no. The orchids went in the trash. Oh, how terrible. They blown out all the and candles. she was going to wear one behind her ear. Well, I'll just get it back. Just get it back. That's terrible. Watch this. Yeah. It's frozen. <laughs> Somebody forgot to get it out. It oh, <laughs> no. Thank you, Doris. Doris made it from scratch, and oh, we appreciate it. We love her for it. We really do. Okay, so anyway, what you do is just saute all this stuff over here in this pan. And while this is going on, then you need to be heating up your other pan, and a big one, too, with some oil, and you got to get it real... You know, Hammerstrom, was it you cracking your gum? Yeah, it was. You got uh, got uh, some yeah. for all of us? Well, no, no. We'll just have to call in the head of production, and uh, Jim will get his demerit. Got some for chewing, me? chewing gum on the set. Oh, no. Oh, it's a fireball. <laughs> that's especially oh, that's exactly what you need. Mm, boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you noticed, uh, I did not wash the hamburger before I put it in. Why is that? Well... <laughs> People are so fanatical I about know. food, you know. You should have Cloroxed that stuff. Well, my Aunt Rowena thinks you do. Bless her heart. Okay, I need to start frying some of this parmesan. I mean, it's parmesan. Some of this uh, eggplant. So here's what you do. Now, you could have used canned mushrooms in this, but no. Doris has to get fresh ones that have to be sliced, Chopped. more work, we'll never finish this Here's recipe. Here's Laban within an inch of his life, and she's working him nearly to death. All right, here's what you got to do. Set up three little bowls. 
bowl number one, <laughs> behind bowl number one, we have a little flower. Three little bowls went to school and they got thrown out by the narcs. Bowl number three. <laughs> Roll another one. Anyway, bowl number two is eggs and bowl number three is breadcrumbs. And so you got this stuff and we got the juicy stuff out and you do this and then you do this and then you do this and then throw that baby in there and you and then you fry them real fast and brown them well you know doris uh, i'm glad i told you about this this works a lot better yeah. <laughs> and laban taught me years ago that when you're doing this do it with one hand only do not you'll notice that at no time does my other hand leave my arm nor do i get dirty i need you have to something. use the other hand to answer the telephone that's there. right this is very very hot and as you can see they don't have to stay in there very long but if you do them that fast they will not absorb oil and what we're going to be doing is transferring those to a big baking dish as we go along and i have to fry up print near an entire uh eggplant it'll take a little while bear with me all right well, well i'm still chopping uh mushrooms and i'm tired of it and i'm gonna quit <laughs> so i'm gonna uh, go over and chop up my eggplant, which everybody has seen you do and is completely redundant. We're starting to repeat, repeat, repeat ourselves a little bit. Doris, I just can't believe you got fresh mushrooms. Oh, gosh, I'm having to move mighty fast. You know, this stove is hot today. Some days it doesn't get real hot. And this, of course, is one of those days when it decides it's going to. So I'm having to just move like crazy here. Oh, well, you know, around here, I'm sure they got enough money finally to pay the bill, the electric bill. That's now. This uh, recipe later on calls for monster cheese, which up where I come from, the Shenandoah Valley, you know, they call it monster cheese. <laughs> if it ain't Belvita, they don't know how to pronounce it. Probably ought to put a little salt and pepper on there, but who has time? Maybe I'll do some on this one. Just so we My look. eggplant recipe was supposed to be peeled. But you don't have to peel it. So, and the, when you do it on top of the stove, there's even more reason not to do it. So, I'm not going to peel it. This thing's getting entirely too hot. This is just out of control today. Not only that, but I think I need some more oil. It's starting to absorb just a little. You know, this is wearing me out. Well, it's kind of wearing me out too. Lenny. I should have just stayed home today. Doris, have we got a bowl over there? A big one? that I can use. Doris has given me this tiny little pan. Look at this. I, and I, I can't even, I don't even have any wiggle space on it. There's no room to do anything here, Doris. I'm having a real time. Look, there's stuff all over the stove. And well, I mean, you know, this is what happens in a real kitchen. Well, you're right. It does. Now, I'm taking out all good grief. I know it looks worse than it really is, ladies and gentlemen. The kitchen really is is not on fire, but we've got some hot greases going here, and it just takes a little bit. And Doris isn't helping by throwing additional cookware at me. So anyway, well, I'm just continuing to do this. It takes a little while, and there's no shortcut to it. Okay, but I'm getting there, and I am layering. You're what? I'm layering, 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 layering uh, some eggplant slices in the bottom of this pan, and then I'm going to cover them with some of this mixture. Sweating like I'm a just... pig over here. Well, I mean, it's... What is with me today? Sometimes cooking is hard work. Sweating like a pig. I don't want to hear anything from all you pig people out here. <laughs> people are just so fanatical anymore. It doesn't matter what you say. Someone's gone. Anyway. We have some people near us in a, in a little burg of Roanoke that have been having a powerful lot of mess over Vietnamese pot pigs and whether they're farm animals or pets. And uh, you will not find them in one of our dishes, but I guess they're a pet in my book. All right, now I've got some of that in. Now I'm going to put in some canned spaghetti sauce. Oh, no. The top was juicy and it went all over the counter. This is a mess today. All right, there's some canned tomato sauce. Now I'm gonna put in some more 
eggplant slices. This, by the way, is truly a wonderful recipe. It really is. I have actually eaten some of this personally at home, and it is a great, great recipe. Now, Larry, I'm going to sprinkle on some char sharp, sharp, sharp sure. cheddar on top of this. Oh, man. Uh, oh, you've got to be kidding. Down in here. And now I'm going to put on some more of this stuff. Boy, I'm telling this is, these recipes are right complicated. They're not for the faint of heart. Oh, for the good old days when we just used to open three cans and boil well, we, something. Well, we could have done it today if Doris <laughs> had bought canned mushrooms instead of making me... Now, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I also, at this point, I need to take three tomatoes, or four tomatoes, and just slice them. And uh, I'll do that. And meanwhile, we're still standing by on the beef, which is finally coming along, the beef and the onions and the green peppers. That's looking real nice, except all the stuff that fell out because the thing's too small. But anyway, now I'm going to slice some, some real nice tomatoes, about that thick. And you'll need about three or four of them. And you know, Laban, I thought that this thing would, uh, the, that the uh, tomatoes would get real sad uh, and, and wimpy, but they don't. They stay very nice. Yeah, well, good. And isn't that a very natural-looking red? Yes, it is. They're nice-looking so tomatoes. good that they've calibrated those cameras again. But anyway... And I'll show you how to put all this together in just a couple minutes. All right. Now, I'm garnishing mine with the rest of the cheese. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. It does indeed. And uh, I think I'm going to put the top on it because otherwise, and turn the heat down a little bit because if you're going to do it on top of the stove, Doris, wake up. I'm going to uh, give my recipe. Can I do that? Yeah, go ahead. One dish meal sent in by S.A. McGarrigal of Hamilton, New Jersey. A large eggplant, some flour, egg, bread crumbs, large onion chopped, two or three bell peppers chopped. I only did one today because I'm lazy. Two or three tomatoes sliced, one and a half pounds of ground beef, light olive oil for frying, and eight slices of Munster cheese. And I'll put it all together for you in just a couple of minutes, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. What are you doing? Well, I'm over here trying to work on my dish a little bit and, and straighten up. You know, I hate a messy set. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me give my recipes from Denise Adams in Philadelphia. You need a 16-ounce uh, jar of spaghetti sauce, a medium or large eggplant. No notice that Doris opted for a large one. Two large green peppers cut up. Doris opted for a giant-sized pepper. Two onions cut up, about a pound of super lean ground beef, uh, and you can brown it first. I chose not to do that. I chose to, uh, because it was so lean, uh, do it, it a so little lame. lame. <laughs> lean, lean. <laughs> Fresh mushrooms or a small can of mushrooms, a small, for something like this, a small can would have been fine. Uh, the fresh ones are great, but sometimes they can be pricey and you're better off. Salt and pepper, I left the salt out, there's enough in the meat. And put on the top one uh, cup of extra sharp grated cheese, although Denise says later on in her recipe that it would be better to put half of it or more in the middle so it doesn't cauterize your tongue when you get uh, to eat it the first time. The cheese, she says, gets real hot, hot and mean. I'm cooking it under low heat now, and it probably should cook for a half an hour or so uh, to let everything kind of meld together. And we'll show you the baked version in a few minutes after Larry's got his put together. The presentation du jour of the day. Uh, okay, so what you do is you put all of your, uh, you kind of layer this really is what you do. So we've got the eggplant in there. You take a look at this. And then you come in and you drain this as you go along. And you put your hamburger mixture. Uh, and the, uh, it's also got your onions and your green peppers. And you put that in. And if you have enough time and you're not doing a TV show, <laughs> you could keep layering this one after another, but I'm only going to do a single layer of each thing as we go along here. I would get that a little bit, the ground beef, just a little more done than that, but we don't have but about six and a half minutes, hint, hint. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I would put all that in there. Make sure you drain it. I'm just 
taking it off the top. So there that goes there. And then next thing you do is you put some tomatoes on top of that. I'm just in love with this recipe. I oh, think I this recipe has just <laughs> makes me feel good. To know. And then you take your Munster cheese, or if you're from the Shenandoah Valley, your Monster cheese, and you take that and put it across the top. Now you can Didn't continue Terry that. Didn't Terry Como used to call that moon, moon, not Munster, but Munster? Munster? I don't know. I've always said Munster. Well, yeah. Remember when he was sponsored by Munster cheese? I'm not old enough. He was. I don't think I'm old enough to remember Perry Como. Wasn't he on one of those cartoon shows? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, I don't know. So anyway, there you go. Now, that goes in the oven. Oh, 20 minutes at 350 Well, we degrees. don't have that much time left. Oh, uh, through the miracle of television, I have the real one in the oven. Oh, well, good. And there's where it's going to stay because I have nothing to get it out with. So uh, oh, I want to show you what it looks like when it comes out. Here we go. I got, it. I got, it. I got, it. I stole all yours. This is a pretty dish. Look at this. All that Munster oh, cheese melts on dish. top. Hello. There we go. Isn't that pretty? All that stuff just melts that is down amazing. on. Amazing. It. It's, it's just lovely. It looks almost like a real dish. You'd hardly know it's made out of plastic. <laughs> it's, a, it's just a well, fake set. Let's crop. take it over there to the oven. We'll take it over there. So. That'll be right. So it's a nice dish, but it just takes a little bit of prep time. It really does, but well worth it. I think that anything probably that has uh, eggplant, how does yours look? Well, it just looks like a big old puffy. Uh-huh. Now, uh, in advance, Doris was helping us, and she used shark cheddar on this side, and on this side she used parmesan. Hmm. And you can alternate. You can use either one. And if you were a cheeseaholic, you could use both. Looks good, doesn't it? Well, it's real pretty. Yeah, it looks I'm so a... natural on television. Uh -huh. It just looks like... And this is enough to take to a church potluck supper. I mean, you could serve everybody in town with these. They both make huge amounts. Get off my stool. Oh, I've got the wrong chair. What is this sitting here for? Is that yours, That's Justin? in case I have a spell and have to sit down. Do you ever use it? I don't think I've ever yes, seen you use I've it. Yes, I've used it several times. But it's over... The, you know, I've used it when you were over there messing around. Oh, me. How much... Uh, Oh, time do we have? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Very subtle. Uh, put your plate over here, Mr. Johnson. All right. I seem to have a, a wad hanging off there. Oh, there you go. Oh, I hope Dr. Needhawk and that gang out at Lewis Gale does not see me eating anything with that no, much cheese. No, no, you don't have to worry, Johnson. He told me he hadn't watched the show in years. Uh, oh, <laughs> get out. He does. He does. I know he does. He was giving me one of those EKG stress tests recently and started talking about something horrible and we had he, done on TV. And, and he he's very severe about it, too. You know, if I get hold of a... Told me I had the heart of a teenager. That was just mm -hmm. before I had the big one. Yeah. Downstairs and charged me and 10, that poor child was found floating in the river without a heart. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. Well, let's see. You know, I have played with this mess so long that I can't even remember what it what it is anymore. Well, what is mine is so sloppy eggplant, and yours is some other eggplant. Some egg other pellet. thing. Some, if you like eggplant, they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> now he tells us. You do not like eggplant? No, eggplant's all right with me. Yours is real good. It's not very hot. Where has it been? In a freezer? In a freezer. <laughs> Doris had it in the refrigerator. It's not real hot, but it's real good. And mine... He had it sitting right next to Harold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. What do you think of mine? It's, it's really quite good. It is. And it has the interesting thing is that it doesn't have any Italian seasonings in it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. None. You don't have to have that. But you don't have to have it. But it's just real good. It really is. Mm. So anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And even you can do this at home. You can try this at home especially if you got a lot of time on your hands and, I want to thank and a bunch of eggplants. Miss Doris, for my lovely happy birthday, it is Larry pretty. Cake. It's real nice. She grew the orchids, was, too. Even though it was like a week or two ago, and we had to freeze it, too. The yeah. whole program's been frozen, ladies uh, and gentlemen. <laughs> well, that's, but why that's we how we stay fresh. <laughs> right, yeah. You all come back We'll again. see you around the campus. Be good.
Hello, this is Miss Carol. If you would like to have